to give you a quick uh, uh, tour of LibreOffice and in particular how to do a quick and easy database on LibreOffice just to show you you get all of the features you get in another office package like Microsoft Office there's your writer which is the same as MS Word this is your uh, calc spreadsheet which is the same as Excel PowerPoint presentation and you also get other elements as well such as the drawing function the math formula and a full database as well which I haven't explored so I'm going to use this calc spreadsheet to do a database and we're just going to start at the top um, by adding a few, couple of info, uh, a little bit of information let's say this is the first name of the person this is the surname of the person this is their phone number the city and the day month and year when they were born and I can start entering some data Mike um, Walters there's his phone number he lives in Cape Town and he was born on the 3rd or the 4th 1980 Julie Walters and by the way the nice thing of course with Excel or in the calc in this case as soon as you type W it kind of knows what you want to, to to write and as soon as I type C it'll fill up Cape Town because it knows already um, and they were they're born on the same day uh, Peter Smith and that's his number and he lives in Neisner and he was born on the 4th of the 2nd 1959 so I've got three pieces of information I'm just going to highlight that first row at the top and I'm going to go to data and say auto filter and what happens immediately I get this lovely little arrows and as soon as you see the arrows it means you can start sorting your data according to alphabetical order sort ascending depending on what you want to do you can sort by first name if you want and you can do another interesting thing let's take the cities I can eliminate instead of saying all I can say I just want my customers who live in Neisner and there you have Peter Smith who lives in Neisner so it makes it yeah, nice and easy to do there is another way if I put my uh, pointer back up there there is another way to enter data and if I go back to data here I can go to form and there's all my data and I can go next record and now I've got a new record and I can say Mike Smith and I can enter the number uh, that way then took fifth of the sixth 1979 and I say new and I've entered it that way so it's just a different way of entering it you can enter it on the spreadsheet or you can use this little uh, form to do it if you want to sort people by their birthday by the way what you can simply do is say I want people who were born on the third of the fourth and there they are there's two customers who were born on that day